Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus on Panda's pivot table margin. Now, what is the margin here? And on top of that, we are also going to learn pivot table margins, rows only, columns only, with examples. Now, the very first thing that I am going to do is import Pandas as PD and then I am going to use a very specific data frame for which using which we can understand this example quite well. This data frame I am going to pass it in the description of the video. So please do check and copy this data frame. Let us print this data frame. The moment I am printing this data frame, if you first thing is you need to understand okay how the data frame data is there. So if you see October 1st product A was sold 10 times. October 2nd product B was sold 20 times. October 1st again the product maybe in the morning it was sold 10 times and in the evening the data the product was sold 15 times. Same thing on October 2nd the B product was again sold 25 times. But again on October 2nd you see there is no product A. Only the B product was sold. October 3rd A and B both were sold. So this is our data. Now let's understand what is a margin. Now let me write df data frame dot pivot underscore table and here the very first thing I'm going to pass is the index is equals to I'm going to pass the date as my index which will appear like a rows and then I'm saying column is equal to and here I want to pass the product okay so date and product now if you simply run this okay this is how the data appears now what this margin will do so the date has become your rows you can see all the data has come and here the products have come in the columns that is the meaning now I am going to add something called aggregate function okay I am saying aggregate function is equals to now if you see it has given a mean value so mean for example a was sold 10 and 15 on the first day of October so 15 10 it is giving a mean value now I want to have a sum value so all you do simply write sum and run this so what happened I have got 25 so addition of 10 and 15 got 25 and the same thing for the B product you can see um, 20 and then 25 so total 45 so this is what it is about sum now let's understand what is a margin so the margins is equals to if I'm going to say true and run this so what would happen you see there's a total column has come for example see in the row the product a was sold 25 times so total is 25 now in the second the product b was sold so 45 total products sold now in october 3rd the total product sold is 70. now all these days if you see throughout this one two three the total a product was sold is 55 times in the b so it is giving a sum of the columns and rows so rows columns are here and columns are here some of the column values are down here and total a and b total is 140 so this is the usage of margin now sometimes you may have a requirement where you would like to see the margins row only that means you would like to only see this not the bottom one or maybe you don't want to you want to see the bottom one but you don't want to see the side one so in that case how do you control right to see the margins in the row wise or the column wise so how do you control it now for this all i am doing let me write something so here i am going to drop so i am saying uh, so let's do one thing so all of this i am going to assign it to a uh, data frame variable pivot underscore table let's say is equals to now if you print this pivot underscore table Say so the same output has come now. Let's remove now to remove something. All I have to do is simply say drop. Okay, drop. Now in the drop, there are a few parameters I'm going to pass. I'm saying hey, find all and how where do you find in the axis zero? Now remember, whenever you see this axis zero means it is going to work row wise. Axis one means it is going to work column wise. Axis zero means it is going to work row wise. So it is going to check row wise where is the word all 
So it finds all and it removes it. Now, for example, if I'm going to run this, you will see this will be removed. This will be removed. Okay. Now run it. So it will check in the rows and you can see the bottom part is now removed. So what I've got is now the sum of the rows here I have got. Now same thing, let's say I want the bottom column part and I don't want this values. This all I don't want. Then how do I control? Now you will say all you do is write axis is equal to 1 and run it. Because 1 means column wise but I got an error. Right? Now when you write 0 it is working. But when you write 1 it doesn't work. Why? Because while it is checking in the columns, if you see the columns, there are multiple layers of the columns. This is the zeroth layer and this is the first layer, this is the second layer. Because you have done a pivot, there are multiple labels. This is first layer, zero label. This is first layer, this is second layer. So zero, one, two. So all is present in one, right? So all you have to simply pass a parameter called label. See how interesting it is. Label is equals to one I am passing. One means zero, one. Because when you do a pivot, it becomes obvious that you will have multiple such rows which has only the column names. So the moment I say 1, that means this is 0, this is 1. So here I want to drop this. Okay, fine. Now if you run it, what happened? The output, let me see the error. Axis must be multi-index. Uh, label is equals to 1. Okay, then axis has to be 1, right? I did not change that axis. Column means 1. Now if you run it, what happened? The column wise it has checked. It has removed that all. Getting it? So these are the very interesting topics that you have learned today about the pandas pivot table margin you have learned. Then you have learned uh, pivot table margins to keep the row only and the margins in the column only. So these are the syntaxes that you have learned. So do make a note and do let me know in the comments if you are able to understand this topic or not. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to a next topic.